Hello everybody, I am the Baron and this is a game about a Paragon match that I had that I am absolutely livid about. This is the Afro Nerd. He chose FaZe. And I appreciate that he chose FaZe. FaZe is a good hero. And that's totally cool. Now, the Afro Nerd has a problem. You can probably tell by the left and right that we have a few issues happening with our team. Number one is this guy. We've got Niggy. This is the Bis of GG. He's a friend of mine. I've been helping him learn how to play. And uh, he only has decks for three heroes. One was the phase, which was taken by this guy. Uh, the other is a Muriel. And I didn't want to have another Muriel on this match because we were already having issues with how everything was set up. And last but not least is Iggy. Well, last and least is Iggy. So I figured, all right, we'll let the bishop play Iggy, and uh, we'll just make something happen. Now, something else also happened. It's this guy, Mr. Richter. Now, Richter, William's guy, and Professor Turtle, they're friends. They know each other, and they decided to work together to try and make a Bellica Richter combination work in mid lane. A little unusual, granted, but not totally impossible. Now I should note here that my own skepticism happened at the same time. When they said they were going to do this, I'm like, alright, we can try it. But uh, I didn't have high hopes, which is why I chose Howitzer. By far my worst hero. I have one win in ten games with this guy. But I'm not awful with him. Uh, it's, it's not like I don't know how to use him. My kill death isn't terrible with him. It's just not great. And uh, <clears throat> it's a, it, well, it's especially bad because when I first started, I did really bad with him as I tried like figured out how to use him. But now I played with him for like well about ten games, so I sort of know what's going on with him. What's what the dealio is with him. So I decided to go safe lane, soloing safe lane because well. Not ideal, but something. Something going on. Now I am actively on Skype with the bishop, teaching him how to do his offlane, right? Keep your distance from the minions, try and snipe last hits once in a while, but mostly just stay under tower and try not to die as much as you can. Not easy to do. He's in very low silver league right now, so he's still, he's still learning the ropes. Now what's aggravating is this. This is the Afro Nerd literally staying in the game and doing this. Now he does this for quite some time. And it it never gets not annoying. If that was me getting a kill and I got sniped from behind by someone. Oh I like his uh oh by Chimera. I like his deal. So let's take a look at where we're at right now. We're two and one. I've killed one of them. We've lost two guys. That happens. So let's fast forward a little bit. Not yet, but at some point I realize what the phase is doing. And I'm not super happy about it. Let's fast forward a little bit. So here's phase, once again, just a reminder. This is what he's doing. This is the bishop. Six minutes in, he still has his tower up. I'm over here fending off, fending off our big graystone guy. Moon's guy and Professor Turtle are still mid. Overall, we're one to four. So that one kill that I've done is all we've taken so far. But all our towers are still standing, relatively speaking. You can see on my side, I've done some damage, I'm doing some work. Meanwhile, we're running at 4v5 because of what's happening right now. Let's fast forward a little more. So he's still chilling. He's still, he's still having lots of fun. Definitely doesn't want to leave the match, you know. But, uh... Trying to make things work. 
tune in for me getting sniped just in time. Now we're up to two kills, but eight deaths. The game's definitely not going well. We are having a heck of a time, but the thing is, relatively speaking, things are not going too off. I mean, our composition and where we're situated is some of the worst you could you could ever imagine. And things are still going okay. Let's go up a few more minutes. Oh, look at this. The phase is active. Oh, that's interesting. It's almost like he ran over there and then got himself killed. Well, that was probably just a fluke, an accident of some kind. So me and my buddy, the bishop, are doing some work trying to get some kills, chase some people around. There's here. Oh, look, he's back. Oh, that's interesting. How? What? What an odd strategic choice. Battle Royale, if not mistaken, I think I die again, yeah. So we're having a rough time. Oh, the phase is back. Oh, no, he's dead. Let's have another look. So 5 and 12. He's killed a few more people. Uh, Richter and Bellica are doing some heavy lifting there in the mid. Uh, 12 deaths. Because again, our team composition is absolutely, absolutely terrifyingly bad. Oh, we should reverse that. Look at what happened. This is our buddy the phase here. Guys are running. And he actually did something. He actually caused the uh, caused the guy to die, which is absolutely. Awesome. So I was watching him when that happened. I'm like, oh, he's actually decided to play again, right? He's actually going to try and help us win. Because at the 6 and 13, we're not doing nearly as bad as we should be doing, all things considered. So we're, we're trying to make stuff happen. That's good news. And the team's having some issues. Couldn't decide if I should clean up or not. We end up getting another guy, getting the in. That's good news. Bishop working together here to get some work done. Now let's watch this guy and see what he decides to do. Oh, oh, he's making a move. Looks like he's helping. Oh, oh. Oh, a tower dive. Interesting choice. I, I probably wouldn't have done that, but that was that was interesting. Tower diving with phase at level three. Okay, interesting. So I start clearing jungle because we don't have a jungler, so someone might as well. We get another guy. We're at eight and fourteen. So we're actually doing some real work now as all of our major guys are starting to. Uh, starting to level up, right? We're starting to get kills, we're starting to make things happen. Iggy is the biggest risk on our team because he's still relatively new to the game, he's still learning how his cards work, he's, he still has the setup of <laughs> a mana, a health potion, and a, and a scout ward, the thing you learned in the tutorial. So I mean, he's he is ruthlessly new, and he is at 0-2-2. Oh two two. Pretty decent, right? And so the rest of our team is, is actually okay at the game. Oh, we missed another one. Where was he when he died? He went and and uh, faced off against the uh, against that guy, I guess. I'd watch it, but I think we're starting to get a feel for the theme of this game. After all that jungling, we're getting some card points going up. I'm still pretty frustrated because I'm at one and three. I'm actually doing the worst out of the people that are actively, you know, trying to play the game. Because <laughs> I am definitely not designed for this. The phase is right. Let's watch the phase here. She's making moves. Ooh, interesting. 
Interesting. Get nice and close. Try and try and get the kill. But we did get the in. So one and one right now as the team battle rolls in. I'm out of mana, so I tell everybody I'm heading out. These two are coordinating, working together really well to get another kill. Richter's in rough shape though. If you get out of there, Ooh, he manages. Oh, and what's this? What's this? Our phase. Our phase tries to take the team by herself. It isn't worth, you know, it didn't work somehow. So I jump up to 2 and 3, finally, we're at 10 and 17, we are actually catching up. You know, uh, we, are, we are catching up to these other players, which is less a testament to our skill as a testament to how terrible the other team is. Well, that's not, I guess that's not strictly true. I play with off heroes a lot as I tried to learn, oh look, in the distance we can see our phase making strategy work in real time. Um, I usually play with Platinum players quite a bit, and uh, but when I play with somebody like Howie, I probably am in Gold League, right? Uh, which is fine. Uh, I stopped because I was typing. We are all constantly arguing and yelling at one another because of what our phase is doing to the team. Again, we work together, get another snipe. I finally get into a dead heat of 3 3 0. Oh. Suddenly we're getting into what could be an interesting game, right? We're able to pick on them, we're working together well. They have to come to us in order to kill us. And Howitzer is designed to ex Howitzer is designed to extend games into the long game. Uh, he is great at defending. Uh, late game he gets a little unruly and dies a little quickly. Let's watch our phase. Her strategic vision for how to win this game for us. Oh, interesting. He grabbed me and pulled me in. Maybe to help me fight. He's about to die. I don't know if you noticed, but she was trying to pull me again. Uh, let's watch me as we get into this actual fight. Boom, we get another one. So our whole team happened to pull over just as that was happening, so the rotation worked out okay. Now, what we just witnessed was an important moment for the Afro nerd. He realized at that moment that, oh my goodness, I don't have to just kill myself. I can maybe pull my allies in to ensure that they die. So we're in a big fight, right now would be the time to grab him and pull him out, if the phase was trying. Pulls him into the inn, gets the kill, decides to run away so that maybe he can grab someone else. Oh, he, he didn't quite know where Bellica was going. Oh, oh, look, oh my goodness, he actually attacked someone and, and managed to get himself killed. Turtle's trying to get the kill, I think. Oh, that was funny. Not quite able to secure it on that one. Oh, he had died. Here, I'm just doing the tower work over here. So we're at 13 and 22. Now the interesting thing you need to know is from the 1 to 10 to the 1 to 11, if you subtract phases kills out, and had he just stayed there doing nothing, we would have actually been winning at approximately this point in the game. We would have finally been getting enough kills to be ahead of them. Fight. Managed to save the inhibitor. Because again, this other team is not great. They're not very well coordinated. They're running all over the place. They are, that was funny. They are ripe. For us to actually be able to kill them if we uh, if we do our job properly. Nothing else extend this game out to a long time. So every time the can we retreat comes up, the Afro nerd is asking us to retreat, and we all say no. 
because we know what he's doing, he's actively sabotaging the team, so we might as well just not let him leave the game, right? Just extend it out as long as we can. There he is, he's pulling me over towards the enemy. He's trying to make me fight, I guess. Now, the reason that I'm casting this is two reasons. One, I want the Afro Nerd to be reported uh, uh, because I'm extremely angry with how he did this game, right? He totally screwed us. There he is, taking the Iggy and throwing him under tower. You know, keeping him at the front of the fight to try and make sure he dies. There he is, he pulls me in. That was fun. Pulls me into the middle of the fight to make sure that I die. And even with all that, our two guys are just shy of killing those people off. There goes Belica. And with that, we're all doomed. And I'm back. Oh, Afro Nerd is first. Let's see what he's up to. So 13 and 27. But again, at this point, they're starting to scale. Uh, also, no cards. He hasn't put any cards on his deck. So again, absolutely nothing. Nothing's going down right now. And that's not a glitch. This, well, there's a glitch here. It's not showing his base card. He quite literally is doing nothing. So, he's going to pull the bishop up to the front line. Here we have the phase, we have no chance of saving it. Oh, and then with the pull, to put them on the other side of this guy. There's a team battle here. Oh, pull into the middle, effective. Watch me for a bit. Oh, yeah, blasting away here, trying to save everybody. Scare him off at least. Oh, we get him. Save our buddy. Three, four, and two. So, Bellica is six, four, and five. Doing awesome. The Richter, four, four, and eight, which for Richter is ludicrous. Our Iggy and Scorch is staying even, which for an Iggy is impressive, especially somebody relatively low ranked. And our Howitzer, who's me, is. Well, arguably doing the worst, uh, depending on how you look at it. Uh, and that's if we pretend the phase uh, didn't uh, didn't exist, which we would have been, uh, well, far better off. I mean, again, would have been a struggle. My goodness, they pulled me again. It would have been a struggle, and we might not have won. I've won 4v5 before. Um, but I've never, I've never played with 4v5 or 5v5, where one of the players was actively sabotaging. Runs in there, pulls Richter onto the other side of the battle. Now he's right in the thick of the fight, gets absolutely obliterated. She's positioning herself right where the enemies can see her, where she's a nice target. Oh, there it is. At least she didn't pull anyone else to her death after she did it to Richter. Turtle Bishop holding up. So after this game, Williams Guy and Professor Turtle and I all became friends and we now will play together occasionally. Uh, or I hope to. I think we only played one more game after this one where they did the experiment again and I played a better hero to give us a better chance of winning and we won that game fairly handily. Oh, this guy's back. Let's see what he's up to. What we just got back. One in 14 right now. Doing some work. Oh, I thought he'd be grabbing and pulling again just for kicks. Oh, no, we're going jungling. Oh, yeah, let's. Oh, 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 she actually tried to use her ability before her death. That'll convince us you're putting in real effort. Me struggling against their gadget. I'm actually curious. What? How'd the other team do? There's Sarath, five, six, and eight. For Sarath is 
absolutely insane how bad that is. I mean, I shouldn't be too harsh on them. 3, 4, and 8 for the Chimera. 6, 2, and 9. The Greystone and the Gadget, 8, 0, 8. Uh, the Gadget is the other high leaguer, I think. The one that's close to where I'm at. 11, 3, and 9 for the Yen. So, I don't know if that's really indicative of how good they are, considering um, what the phase is doing. Oh, yeah. Oh, did he get a kill? No, he didn't. I'm like, oh, look at this guy, he's helping again. He actually managed to miss. Someone died, and he still didn't get anything. Oh, he got one on that one. Found assist. Oh, what's this? Oh my goodness, he did something. Maybe he's trying to make something happen here. Oh, I remember that. I did get him, but I was pretty angry I died. I mean, if the FaZe had any bloody cards on her, we'd have a chance. <laughs> the thing, even if she had put in some effort, or better yet, just stopped playing altogether or left, we would have done just fine. So we're at 18 to 35, but again, you take away those 16 unnecessary kills, and it's close. I, um, not 100% winning, and a big part of that you need to remember is the fact that, uh, like, her dying 16 times isn't, isn't in and of itself the deciding factor. Like, it's definitely hurting us, right? But the big thing is all of these 16 card points that this team now has that they have no business having, that's the big problem, right? Like, the fact that somebody goes and kills himself a bunch, right? Uh, whatever. I, but the thing is, in this game, those card points you get from killing people is a massive advantage. And the fact that our phase has given that team that advantage is making every battle we have with them that much harder and that much more difficult to deal with. Clear these, try and save our tower, or save our core. Big fight in the middle. Holy crap, he actually pulled them out of harm's way. Uh, phase melts immediately because there's no cards. I desperately try to get away from all of these guys chasing me. I think. Oh, I am the only one alive. And they get me. Those rotters. So, by all rights, this would be. GG. And sure enough. So I really like giving people the benefit of the doubt. I try to as often as I can. Because, you know, I'm not a monster. And perhaps he didn't have a card deck for her. You know, perhaps he saw that we had a Richter and an Aegean on our team and decided that we were most definitely going to lose and there is literally no point. And then at some point got fed up with the fact that we were not allowing the game to end. <laughs> I decided, well, rather than, rather than, you know, make something awesome go down and try and help us win a game with totally off heroes and everything's systemically incorrect and in big trouble, uh, instead of trying to help us make that happen, he decided to, to not just kill himself a bunch of times, uh, 16, 17 to be exact. But to actively cause the deaths of three or four of us that shouldn't have happened by pulling us into harm's way. And also, uh, just just not doing anything. Like, it's just so brutal. The, the guy just... This guy. Anyway, the Afro Nerd. I am, a, I am not a big fan of this. Uh, I had heard of, like, pe like, people have abandoned my team lots of times and... You know, usually if I try a little harder, we have a good chance of winning anyway. Uh, I'd say probably 30% of the time I manage to win during something like that, which is usually because I'm in Gold League, even though I do play a bit better than that. Uh, but it depends on the hero I picked. I chose Howitzer this time, so we very, by all rights, we, we should have lost. That part was was pretty clear that that's probably what should have happened, but... Those other two guys, Williams guy and uh, 
Professor Turtle. Very talented players that, again, are just kind of screwing around playing with an off hero, so I feel like we would have had a good chance, especially considering how abysmal, relatively speaking, the other team was doing. So yeah. Anyway, so the phase got 17 deaths, plus uh, I'd say probably four or five other deaths that shouldn't have happened if he hadn't thrown us in there. And then he allowed the other team to scale so much that they had insane card power. Well, as you can see, um, pretty brutal. I mean, I was relatively high, but um, I was the exception to the rule because I was the strongest on the team. This was a silver team. I'm in gold league. And as you can see, the other gold leaguer also did, as a gadget of all things, did totally fine. So her and I should have been able to offset each other had we been able to just play a simple game and not have uh, and not have someone not just abandon the team, but abandon the team and then have an epiphany that I can actively sabotage this team to try and end this game earlier. So, you know, props to him. It worked. I mean, we did lose the game eventually. We dragged it out to 34 minutes. What? Because of him leaving and some other stuff probably should have been a 10 minute game. So, uh, yeah, and big props, big shout out to, uh, big shout out to all the guys that actually stuck around and made this happen, you know, uh, I had fun actually playing this game even with how harsh it was, so that's good, we'll take it. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching, uh, I'll probably link this video and send it to Epic to see if there's some kind of punishment or warning you can give to that Afro guy. And uh, yeah, thanks everybody for watching. Until next time, this has been the Baron.